My first job out of school was just at a tiny three-person PR firm. And, you know, I worked really hard and uh, I, you know, I, I tried to do the best that I could at every little project I was given. And then I eventually moved to a slightly bigger PR firm with about 30 people. And again, I was just always like a little worker bee. And, and um, I had a client there who was just, you know, kind of noticed the hard work and brought me in to work at this corporate job. It was a cell phone company called Primeco that no longer exists. While I was working in PR at an agency, I met someone from the Sun-Times who said, we're looking for somebody to write this column. They expected it to just be kind of a throwaway column one day a week, cover all the parties in Chicago. But again, I took like this little opportunity and I turned it into something bigger. So I worked really hard, I tried to get noticed, I started making TV and radio appearances, I got my own radio show, I you know, did the column in the Sun-Times. First it was one day a week, then it was two days a week, then they asked me to write a shopping column. So there were a lot of different things that happened. Two years ago, after writing this column for almost eight years, um, my boss here at the magazine from um, Michigan Avenue Magazine, but the owner of Niche Media came to Chicago scouting for talent, and he found me, and suddenly I'm, you know, the editor-in-chief of the hottest new magazine in the city. So it was just luck and circumstance and, you know, a bunch of tiny little steps along the way. One of the things that I really learned, and one of the things in my early, early job reviews that my bosses used to tell me was that I sunk my teeth into every project, no matter how big or small. I took it seriously, I worked hard at it, whether or not it was an assignment that you know, was fun and sexy and cool. If you really are talented and if you're really meant to do something, then people will see it no matter what you're working on. You don't necessarily have to be um, you know, living your dream at every moment, because unfortunately that's not what work is. A lot of it is doing well at everything that's handed to you and doing it, you know, in a way that impresses everybody around you so that when three months from now the opportunity comes and they look for somebody to fill it, you're the one standing there. I've always just enjoyed the moment, worked hard, tried to be true to who I am and, and be good to the people around me. The CEO of our company, Jason Bin, when he was thinking about launching a magazine in Chicago, he uh, asked everybody he knew who had any connection to Chicago to give him names of people he should meet. And he wound up with this spreadsheet of about 500 names of, you know, who you need to know in the city of Chicago, Mayor Daley, Bill Curtis, you know, all the different people. And my name was on that list. And once I was hired, I got a copy of that list, and it said who recommended who. And the person who recommended me is someone I don't even know. Um, and it's just funny because you, you realize then the importance of making an impact on everybody you encounter. We live in a culture now where everybody wants to be a star and everybody wants to be famous and everybody wants a reality show and everyone wants to write a column. And um, I find that funny because very few people are willing then if they say, I want to be a columnist, but they've never actually sat down and written a paragraph, you know? So there's, I always tell people, sit down and write because that's how you're going to start to get to where you want to go. Only I can be me and that as many people who try to follow exactly my path, you know, the, the people who try to do that will never be able to follow my path because they're on their path. And your own, you know, molecules that make up whoever you are as a human being are distinct. If you start to feel, feel threatened by, you know, the girl who you think is hitting on your husband or the person who is gunning for your job or, you know, anything, it can really drive you crazy until you realize nobody else is me and I'm not them and I would rather be me and let them be them and if I lose my job tomorrow for somebody to somebody else who somehow has figured out how to do it better than me well then it wasn't meant for me anyway